The responsibility of the unique key is to identify uniquely every widget in your app. And secondly, the unique key also preserves the state when widgets move around in your widget tree and there are normal use cases like adding or removing widgets from a list that you need to have a unique key or also when you reorder widgets in your list. In this tutorial, we want to learn why you need a unique key and how to use a unique key and what are the differences between, for example, a value key and a unique key. Therefore, we want to look at two examples. First of all, we have an app without unique keys and here the color is not changing. And secondly, we have an app with unique keys and here the colors are changing. If you are new here, subscribe to my channel and make sure to watch this video till the end. Let's get started with the first example and here we have no keys inside. And every time if we click here on this button, then he will switch the widgets. However, not the color is changing, even if the color is part of this widget. Therefore, I have created here a list of widgets and inside of this list, we put two widgets inside. First of all, with the text one and with the text two. And these are then representing exactly these both widgets. And lastly, we simply display these two widgets within our body property and here I have created a row where we put then our children inside. And secondly, we want to implement this button and every time if we click on this button, then we want to swap here the location of our widgets. And therefore I create here the swap tiles method and here inside we remove first of all the first index, which is here this widget. And then this widget is going inside of this field. And after this, we want to insert this widget again at the first position so that it is moved at this location again inside. And now we can try this example out and click here on this button to execute here this swap tiles method. And if I click on this button, you see that the text is changing. However, the color is not changing. Therefore, let's look also at the implementation of this color state widget. And this color state widget is a stateful widget. And we receive here first of all the text, which is then later displayed here in our UI. And secondly, we have here an init state method where we simply generate a color. And here we simply generate every time a new color if the widget was initialized. And at the end, we simply display here within a container the color. And also we display here the text which we have got from the outside world. And like you noticed, if I click here on this button, then only the color is not right. The text is correct. And therefore something is here wrong with this color. And let me tell you that it is not only about the color that we face here this issue. So you can also put here anything else in the state and you would see the same issue. And you would only see the issue on all the things which are related to our state. Let's go back to our list and our page where we have put all of these widgets inside. And here you need to know that if later Flutter changes here the position of our widgets like this, then it has problems to identify the state of the stateful widgets because Flutter distinguishes widgets by the type by default. And here in this case, both of the widgets have the same type and therefore Flutter cannot distinguish them. On the other hand, if we would have here two widgets which have then a different name, then everything would be fine. However, in this case, we have here two widgets with the same name. And if we modify a list of widgets with the same types, then we also need to put every time a key inside of all the widgets which have the same type. And here comes the unique key into play. So we simply can put inside of our widgets a unique key. And this unique key is then going here inside of our key property, which is then going here inside and here inside of our subper constructor. Let's go back to the list of these both widgets with the unique key and let's try this example out. So now if I click here on the switch button key, then you also see that the colors are also changing. And this is because Flutter can now uniquely identify each widget and also its corresponding state. Another thing you need to care about is that you also put this key at the right location inside. So in case you simply have your container wrapped around your color state widget, then this is not working anymore. 
So if I click now on the switch button, then you see that he has always here a new color for our widgets. And this is a bit strange. And this means that he is every time creating a new widget. And then he is also going here inside of this init state and is creating a new color every time if we switch here our widgets. And this is not what we have expected because we have already put here a key inside. However, this key is somehow not working. And therefore you need to know that you always need to put the key at the first level where it is changed. So we want to swap here our whole widget and therefore you also need to put it here at the first location, the key directly inside. You cannot put it inside of the child widget, you need to put it directly at the parent widget. And therefore I simply remove here the key from the child widget and put it to the parent widget, which is the first level in our list. And we also do the same thing with the other key. It also needs to be at the first level of our widget. And now we can try our example again out and you see that he is always changing the color and he is not creating a new color like before. And lastly, we also want to look at what is the difference between a value key and a unique key because you might think, okay, I also can put here easily my value key inside and I simply create here for this other container also my value key. And now if we try this example with this value key out, you see that everything is also working fine and it behaves the same as our unique key. The only thing which is different to a unique key is that for a value key, we need to care about that this value key is unique. And if we put by mistake the same key here inside for both of these widgets, then we get an error. So now after I have hot restarted this application, you see here this error in the console which says duplicate keys found and this is not what we can do. And to prevent that we have duplicate keys in our app, we simply can use instead of a value key also only the unique key and then Flutter will take care that this is a unique key and that it not conflicts with other widgets. Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel here to get the latest news about Flutter and see you soon. Bye!